First of all, I wanted to be clear out something that, that yes, yesterday in a film session, uh, uh, I used a word that uh, when I meant to say uh, slug, uh, the word thug came out. Uh, it was brought to my attention a couple hours later. Called all the players afterwards, uh, explained the situation. We met about it today. We apologized. I apologized about it today as well. It was not it never intended, and uh, it, uh, I think the players understand that now. But it, it's uh, something I have to learn from and uh, just uh, enunciate better and, and be, be just uh, more clearer with what, what my intentions were. So I, I, they all know it. They understand it. But. Uh, it's something that's unfortunate that we got to we'll get behind us without question. There's really positive reinforcement from the guys this morning and last night, and very understanding. But it's something that certainly um, they understand that it was serious. Something that that uh, you know that, that shouldn't have happened. It, it was it was a complimentary, where where I I was saying uh, we're we're making some really we're making a lot of mistakes uh, mentally, and we're and and. We deserve better because we're really playing hard right now. We're not playing like slugs. We're playing hard. And somehow that word came out. Last night it was like, Coach, you're good. I'm good. That was basically, the, I think, the catchphrase that many of them use. I don't expect to, except the lasting effect is that I have to be very good at, at choosing words very carefully and, and not slipping. And, and that's when you, talk, when you talk a lot and you talk fast sometimes, that happens. We've talked quite a bit. I apologize to him at first because these are the distractions we don't need right now. And it was certainly a distraction, but I believe it's beyond us right now. We move forward. To, uh, excited about playing Detroit tonight. You know, I didn't think there was any malice or any, uh, you know, I intent behind it to uh, upset us or, or or anger us. I mean, obviously, um, you know, it, it uh, you know wasn't good the reaction after the fact. But um, you know, at the end of the day, as a person, he's a good man, and uh, he misspoke. I mean, he owned up to it. I uh, came in here and apologized this morning, and now. Now we move on. I think guys are are, are good with it. Uh, come out and play hard tonight, and then you know, wake up tomorrow's a new day. We move on. Like I said the other day, nobody's perfect. He misspoke, and uh, you know, obviously it was a uh, you know a, a tough thing to hear, and you know, people got a hold of it and took on a life of its own. But um, no, I think you know, he's he's you know he's a good person at the end of the day. So we uh, no, we can move on. Owning up to it, um, you know, and apologizing to us. I think that was the biggest thing. Um, you know, obviously, I'm. You know, he hasn't gone through something like this where you have to be, you know, a little bit. Um, I mentioned empathy the, the other day, empathetic to knowing that he hasn't dealt with this on at, at this stage, you know, before, and, and knowing that it can take on a life of its own. And, but you know, people that that know him, people that have been around him, know that you know he's a good person. So.